just wanted to show y'all a quick video on this log rack that we have, our log feed for our sawmill. It's two and seven eighths oil field pipe. Very tough to weld because it's got a, it's magnetic from being in the earth's ground. Run down thousands of feet. Basically how it works is, this is two and seven eighths oil field pipe. This is two and three eighths. This fits inside the other. So the thought is that you push that back and you walk by and you work on the logs. And when you need to run the log to the carriage, that's designed to take the load from this pipe down to this beam right here. So when we roll a log here, it'll come across here and jump up on the carriage. The load should stay, it, this shouldn't deflect any. And the hardest part about this, there's two sacks of concrete under each pole. And, but this saddle right here is, you know, you cut a saddle to make this fit together and then you weld it. The welding is easy in places. You can tell that was an easy weld right there. As soon as you turn the corner right here because of the magnetic interference, it goes crazy. Basically the arc goes all over the place. But welding's the one that showed me how to make these saddles. And so I'm just gonna show y'all a video that he did that he sent to me to show me how to do it because I'm not a welder. I think everybody knows that by now. So all we got left though is this right here. I'll cut this off right here with the cutting torch put this cap on it and this little bump out here on the end is going to serve to keep the logs from actually rolling back off of here so it should stop them if something was to happen or the tractor is actually going to sit right here and the forks will be pulled out from under it so it actually kind of you can drag it drag it back out from underneath it that way so anyway let's go see what Mr. Weldon Prather has got to do with saddling and a cutting torch this one is just a regular old saddle. It has your 45 or your 90, so you can do 90s, your 45, and then your saddle. Usually, if I'm doing a whole bunch of these, like we were doing at the house that day, you can find a generic piece of angle iron. If you're building one that's going to have saddles on both sides, Use an angle iron to make your line down it so that you know your saddles are going to come out the same. One thing you might be doing wrong is rolling your pipe and cutting a saddle bevel square. And that causes a problem. Because then you got a big, what we call a landing, that you got to grind off. You'll keep your torch completely straight when you're doing it. And feather the edges off. All you got to do is bang it on it and it should fit.
something else that comes to mind, you always turn it inside of your line. This side of your line. Take it after you cut it. Bang it on there, get the swag off of it, and it should fit pretty good. If your throats are coming out too long, Right here, you got a big gap. It probably means you're cutting behind the line, which is making the throat higher and the ears longer. That'll cause big gaps too. <laughs> Cam I was responsible for the zoom in and outs. We got a, I put a grease start in here and I'll probably put a tube of grease in, into this pipe right here. Just so this, this turns, it never rusts up in here and it slides easily back and forth. But other than that, it's not really a whole lot to it. I'm really, really glad to have it. It's gonna help us. We can have two or three logs here ready to go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Five, six. Happy birthday, dear Jackie. Mama. Happy birthday to you. <laughs>